The next question says, the equation three x squared minus six uh, x minus four equals zero has roots alpha and beta. Find the values of one over a, one, one over alpha, one over beta. You're getting four marks to do that. Now, whenever we're doing these, if we want to find any form of, um, if I'm dealing with alpha and beta, the, the, the concepts surrounding alpha and beta is sum and product of the roots, right? So um, the, sum, the sum has a formula. So the sum alpha plus beta is minus B over A. And then the product, which is alpha times beta is C over A. So those are the two values or formulas that we need as we're gonna go for those values. So then whenever I get an expression, which is one over alpha plus one over beta, my aim is to rewrite this such that I'll get this expression here, I want to write it in, in, in sums and products here. And then from there, I will be able to get values out because I do know what is A, B, and C. So let's write them. A is three, B is negative six, and C is negative four. So there it is, we have it. So at this moment, um, we could quickly rewrite this. So if we do this as regular fraction, right, we could do a quick, what, what we call cross multiplication, or we could use the LCM. So the LCM is alpha beta, which is already the product. So if you divide alpha into this, you will get one times beta. So we'll get the beta here. The beta into alpha beta, we get alpha coming out. So the alpha will be used to multiply by this. So I get one times alpha. If you want to rewrite this and put the alpha first and then the beta after, but this is what we have. If you look carefully, this is the sum and this is the product. So all we need to do is to have values for them. So let us use the formula that we have to get values for the sum and the product. So let's put it beside it. What is the sum? The sum can be written as, so the sum, which is alpha plus beta is simply um, minus B over A, which is gonna be minus B. So we have six, so it's minus minus six over A, which is three. So that will give me positive two. My product is simply C over A, and the C is minus four and A is three. So there it is, I'm having minus four over three for my product. And then let us look at here. We wanna substitute those values there and right there. So let us now take this value for my sum, which is two, and this value for my product, which is minus four thirds. And we're gonna substitute them right here. So let's go. So let's see. Now we're talking about the sum at the top, which is uh, two. And I'm going to use the division like this, divide by the product, which is minus four thirds. How do we go about minus, in, uh, I mean, dividing fractions, we multiply and then reciprocate the last one. So then we could see here that the response that we're getting is two threes, six, negative four. And if we cancel on this, our final answer is minus three halves or negative 1.5. And there we have it, um, the, the, the response. The response for this right here is minus three and a half. There it is, we work them out as you saw there. Let's, let's move on to the other question. So it says, determine the coordinates of, so I'm, I'm, I'm reading this one now, Determine the coordinates of the points of intersection of these, all right? So let us look at the spacing that we have to work them, all right? So we're gonna do it right here, all right? Let's give ourselves some space, yeah? Let's give ourselves some space to work. All right, so now in this question, in this question, what we're about to do is that we want the point of intersection of two x squared minus y plus 19 equals zero. And there is another one, y 
plus 11x equal 4. Now, I would say that this is system 1 and this is system 2. The moment you talk about intersecting of two systems, it's where they cross path, right? So it simply means that at that time, both of them are equal. What we're going to do, though, is just to solve this. This is just a nonlinear simultaneous equation. So I'm going to create a third equation by saying, let's isolate the y since it looks alone already here. And I'm going to represent y in terms of x. Therefore, y is equal to 4 minus 11x. So I am going to, so I could call this my equation 3. I want to substitute 4 minus 11x in equation 1. So let's write down equation 1. Equation 1. 2x squared minus y plus 19 equals 0. I am going to substitute this right here. So I'm going to rewrite this, 2x squared minus y. I'm going to put that in a bracket, plus 19 equals 0. So as we could see here, you're seeing where we substitute that value there, that expression there for y. All right, let's continue working. 2x squared minus 4 plus 11x plus 19 equals 0. 2x squared plus 11x plus 15 equals 0. So we had simplified this. Now we can factorize this, all right? So I'm going to take out these factors. A is 2, B is 11, C is 15. AC is 2 times 15, which is 30. The fact appears of 30 that could give me an 11, all right, is actually a 5 and a 6, right? Positive 5 and positive 6 multiply give me positive 30. Positive 5 plus positive 6 will give me positive 11. So I'm going to sub them here. So we have 2x squared plus 5x plus 6x plus 15, and this is equal to 0. I'm going to factorize these two, then factorize these. All right, let's, let's see, let's see, let's see. So we're looking at taking out x here. So x into 2x squared is 2x plus 5. We're going to be taking out positive 3. 3 into the 6x is going to give us 2x and three into the 15 will give us five. And all of this is equal to zero. At this time now, what we wanna do is we wanna take out the common factor, which is two X plus five. And then these two, which is X and the three X will be placed in a bracket. So we're looking at the other bracket as the X plus three equals zero. Remember the intention. The intention is that we need to find the, the points of intersection. So now I'm going to use this to solve. I'll say either, either 2x plus 5 is equal to 0, which means that 2x is equal to negative 5. Then we divide both sides by 2. So one of my response would be negative 5 over 2. Or x plus 3 equals 0, x is equal to minus 3. I have two responses. One is where x is equal to negative two and a half or negative five halves or negative five over two. And then the other one is x is equal to negative three. Now, because I have this, I can now substitute these two values in equation three. So we want to substitute these values of x. So definitely when x is equal to negative five over two, I want to know what is y. y is equal to 4 minus 11x. I will be substituting. So we'll have 4 minus 11x, but x is negative 5 over 2. Right? So what we have here is 4, and then we have that. So we can work out this part very quickly. All right? 
So we have four minus negative 11. So we'll actually have plus 55 over two for that part, right? So then, hold on, let me write this a little better. All right, so this part actually give me 55 over two. But 55 over two, we can represent that as, all right, so 55 over two, we're gonna represent that as four plus 27.5, and I'll get 31 and a half. All right, so 31 and a half for that. So when X is negative 2.5, Y is equal to 31 and a half. So I wanna highlight this here. And then I'm going to write that coordinate down here. That coordinate is actually uh, negative five over two and 31.5 or 63 over two, if you wanna use that. So that's one of my coordinates, right? The next coordinate now is I want to know when X equal to negative three, what is the Y value? Y is still four minus 11 X, which is gonna be four minus 11 times three, negative three, four plus 33, and this is gonna give me 37. My other coordinates would be negative three, positive 37, all right? So here are the two coordinates that we were expecting to get when those two systems intersect each other or what we say overlap, all right? All right, let's go to the final question here. So the final question reads, it says, it says, let me clear up around it a little bit. Hold on. No. All right. All right. So the final question says, an employee of a company is offered an annual salary of $36,000, which increases by $2,400 per annum. Determine the annual salary that the employee should receive in the ninth year. All right, um, this sort of question takes on what we call a arithmetic progression. And the reason for that is because it has what we call a common difference. Um, the difference is that $2,400 that we'll be adding each year. So every year, the previous salary will be less than the other one by 2004. So let's write down what we have. Since it's gonna, since, all right, so my common difference, I'm just gonna call this B. This is $2,400. Because this is gonna be the difference between any two consecutive year of salary. Um, my first term would have been the A value, which is the $36,000, which is what we would have been starting with each year. Um, the ninth year, ninth year, is what we don't know. However, based on how we do um, the arithmetic progression, it's gonna be A plus N minus one, and then we have the common difference outside. And that will take us to that value when we are ready. Definitely, we have everything that we need to work out this problem, right? Every single thing is there to work out this problem. So what we're gonna be doing is to substitute here. So let me rewrite this, my ninth, year, our year salary, yeah, is gonna equal to A plus N minus one B. So we are referring to A, which is the starting salary, which is 3, 000, um, 36,000 plus, this is nine, N is the ninth year minus one, the common difference is 2,400. I'm looking at 36,000, plus eight times 2,400. And then let me just drop this on my calculator quickly and tell you my final response. Let me push this up just a little bit. All right. Eight times 2,400 will give me 19,000. So I have 36,000 plus 19,200. Hold on, let me clear up. Um, everything around surrounding this board right now. Hold on, guys. 
let me just take these off and then we get there. Good. All right, so we wanna add that to the 36,000. And the final thing for the ninth year, you'll be getting $55,200 as your salary if you're still working there in that ninth year. All right. Thank you for watching Daily Mass Concept. Please like, subscribe, share, and drop a comment. See you next time. Bye-bye.